The Afghan president hopes the Kabul process he's launching will define a pathway to peace, not only with the Taliban, but with neighbors as well. We want peace with Pakistan. We want to be able to trust Pakistan. And we want the chance for friendly, cooperative relationships that will reduce poverty and promote growth on both sides of the frontier. Our problem, our challenge, is that we cannot figure out what is that Pakistan wants. Representatives from more than 20 countries and international organizations attended. Ghani wants the UN to take a leading role in monitoring any future peace deal. But many here are skeptical. I don't think so that there is a political will in uh, the region uh, which can support an Afghan-led and Afghan-owned uh, peace process. The conference went ahead despite the worst attack on civilians in Kabul's history. 150 were killed and more than 300 injured by a truck bomb explosion in the center of the capital last week. <laughs> Afghans angry with the government for not protecting them are calling on the government to resign. Afghan forces opened fire on the first day of their protest on Friday, killing five people. Protesters have renamed the area after one of the dead, the son of a prominent politician. These demonstrators have been here for five days. There may not be many of them right now, but this is usually a very busy intersection in Kabul, and their protest has effectively shut down business and traffic in the heart of the capital. Political divisions are deepening here, too. Afghanistan's foreign minister leads the Jamiat e Islami party that forms nearly half of the government and is demanding change. There is a, a big problem with the security institutions, with the heads of the security institutions. That's why they should be removed and people who are acceptable to the people of Afghanistan should come and lead these very important security institutions. Despite heavy security in the capital, a rocket landed in the diplomatic area as the conference was getting underway. There were no casualties, but it was a stark reminder that security concerns remain a main obstacle to peace. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.